What's up my friend, welcome back to another Kajabi video. And today I'm gonna to give myself a challenge to try to break down Kajabi in under 10 minutes. I know a lot of people don't have that much time to watch uh, you know, a bunch of videos. So I wanna go through the entire Kajabi platform, give you a quick overview of what it's about and what you can expect. So the entire Kajabi platform is based on products. It's really important that you understand that uh, digital products like knowledge products are really essential in today's economy. Um, selling knowledge through courses, memberships, things like that. And this is where Kajabi really excels in. So you can see these are all my different courses. And I also have a community as well. So that is a separate product. But if we just take a look, these are what they offer. They have all the products that you can see then we can create our own courses. And these are all my courses. Um, you can also create coaching packages, which I haven't done yet on Kajabi. I've just been accepting payments myself and then doing Zoom calls, but you can do that on Kajabi too. You can create your own community, which if we just take a look, <clears throat> they integrated with Vibly. So uh, they have a platform that allows them to, um, you know, interact with all the members and you can create meetups, which you can have video calls, uh, coaching calls within the community, which is really cool. You can set up challenges. There's a the latest feed as well. And people can just interact with one another, get support and encouragement, and it's a beautiful thing. And then you can create your own podcast and host it here as well. And I have a podcast. I haven't, haven't uploaded to it recently, but that just so you know, is very possible too. Then in the sales tab, we have payments, we have offers, coupons, affiliates. So payments are really important because those tell you exactly what is happening in the back end when people purchase, right? Um, it, it just helps you keep a track record. So these are your sales analytics essentially, right? And offers are essentially the thing that you sell. So it could be a single course by itself, or it might be like a combination of courses, like a bundle. Um, you can have payment plans, you can have one-time purchases, all that stuff. That is exactly what is included inside an offer. So just to show you really quickly what you what you might expect. You have the title of the offer, um, the subheading, internal title, description, and then you can choose what products you want to sell within the offer. So in this court, in this case, I'm only selling this one product, but I, I could also add in any other course that I want to share in this product as well. You have the price, an image, and then where do you want to send them after they purchase? And then you can add uh, automations as well. So after they purchase, I subscribe them to a thank you email sequence, or I unsubscribe them from an email sequence that pitches this course because they already have it, right? And then add tags, takeaway tags, anything like that. Coupons, of course, allow you to, uh, you know, give them special deals and they can be one-time coupons. They can be multiple codes that you share with tons of people. You have lots of flexibility there as well. Under the website tab, you have your actual website that you create. So this is the website that I've put together on Kajabi. I have my lead magnet at the very top. That's my free workshop. I have a little bio plus my portfolio and then some social proof as well. So, you know, if people are wondering about my free content, my paid content, they want to see those results from what they've gotten, then they can read that all on my website. And I like the way it looks right now. I also have an edit pop-up or exit pop-up that they, it's another opt-in page. Uh, for my lead magnet. But in the website tab as well, you also have pages and you really wanna take advantage of landing pages. So this is really important because landing pages are where you're gonna create your opt-in forms, <clears throat> your opt-in pages like, oh, if I wanna download a lead magnet, then I have to go into this page and you know, uh, put my information into this, this form. So just to show you one of them, this is my workshop that I share on my homepage on my website. I tell them what it's all about, what they can expect to learn, first name and email, and then they can click that and it leads them directly to that landing page with the workshop on it, which is right here. So if we just take a look here, this is another landing page. You can upload videos to it, unlimited videos, by the way, because Kajabi partnered with Wistia, so you have unlimited video hosting. And so I said, you're in, please enjoy this exclusive workshop. And then it's a, an hour long workshop that they can watch lots and lots of value. And then if they want to go even further, they can click that button and it takes them to my offer, which offers a bundle of courses, right? So yeah, you have, you can create uh, opt-in forms, opt-in pages and sales pages, dedicated sales pages. The one you just saw that was also a landing page. So I have tons and tons of landing pages you can see here. So really, really important. Uh, blog, navigation, I'm going to skip for now. Blog, you, if you want to create your own blog and have your own post there, then you can certainly do that. Uh, I haven't, up, I haven't updated to my blog in a long time because my main form of marketing is YouTube videos like this one. Um, so the blog is just kind of an additional thing there. 
And then for marketing, this is where you go into your email sequences, your broadcasts. So, you know, you can see dedicated sequences here. Most of these are onboarding sequences, like thank you sequences, but also my main funnels, like the complete composer system, my main funnel with a lead magnet opt-in. I have two versions of the funnel. One is if they opt in through the video workshop specifically, but one is if they opt in for any other lead magnet, like a PDF, then I also share my workshop with them, which then leads them to this system. So I have two different versions of the funnel and I have 91 subscribe triggers. So so many opt-ins, lots and lots of lead magnets that they can go through, but then they get an immediate over deliver. And then you can see these emails are uh, organized by the day and then the time as well. And then you can add automations as well when emails are sent or when something is clicked in the email. So I add a tag, I can add another tag when, they, when the email goes out, right? Remove tags when I want to. And then what's even cooler is you can chain different sequences together too. It's like after they complete sequence one, subscribe them to sequence two and so on and so forth. You have lots of uh, possibilities there. Funnels are really good if you want to skip the work of doing like setting up emails yourself and like registration pages, opt-in pages, things like that, you can have them set it up for you. So if we take a look at new funnels, you know, you have tons and tons of options here. So if you want to like do a Zoom webinar, then they'll create the registration page for you, the, the confirmation page, the webinar page, all the different emails that you just have to change the wording on, but it's like, oh, we're about to go live and uh, make sure you have this, this link saved, right? Everything you need, you just have to change it up to your own uh, copy after that. Automations, you can see all the different automations you have. Events are really good for like countdown timers. So, you know, if someone, if you have an event that's happening, maybe you're closing the cart on something and you want to link a timer to the email, then you can do that. You create the event to say, oh, my, my workshop is closing in two days. So you select that day and time that it's going to close. And then you, in your email, you link the timer to that event. So it's going to start counting down to that event. And then forms are where people opt in. So my general forms include, let me just go into one here. <clears throat> Most of, all my forms are single opt-in by the way. And I just ask for their first name and email, and then that opts them into my email list. And then after that, you can add automations as well. So for 99% of the forms, when they opt in, they are automatically subscribed to my email funnel, unless they've already gone through it, which I would know by them not having a certain tag or having a tag. Okay. Almost there. Then we have contacts and this basically tells you everyone on your email list, everything you need to know about them. You can go through them, see how much they've purchased, if they have, how much they've gone through a certain course, how much they've completed. Really, really cool. You can see their entire purchase history. Um, it's just really good to be able to tailor specific, uh, like emails to certain people. If you want to shout out certain members who have purchased everything from you, then you can thank them specifically and you can find like your top customers that way, uh, people you want to engage. It's, it's really, really fun. And then assessments I also really like because these are like little quizzes and surveys that you can create for people. So this is one, one, uh, one example. <clears throat> so my details of the survey, like the, the title, the description, the buttons, and then of course automations, but these are the different questions. You can add questions, multiple choice, paragraph, file upload, multiple selection or a section. So I have, you know, little surveys that I can create here. Uh, no design options really, but it's it's really minim minimalist and it, it gets the job done. And it's all within Kajabi as well, which I really enjoy. And then finally we have analytics. And this is just a combination of pretty much everything that we just talked about. So we have recent transactions. We have the amount of purchases in the last 30 days, the net revenue, a revenue of all time in 30 days and uh, all time. And everything is just laid out there really clearly for you. So all in all, Kajabi is a really robust platform. As you can see, we just scratched the very surface, but if you're interested in trying out for yourself, um, they give you a 14 day free trial. And if uh, if you use my link down below, christophersuit.com slash Kajabi, then you could take advantage of an extended 30 day free trial plus two bonus mini courses as a thank you, Kajabi in 30 days and content marketing for creatives, which will walk you through my exact business model I use to put out free content into the world and then monetize it on the back end, and you'll get it. Uh, both absolutely free as a thank you and a bonus for using my affiliate link below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. More than happy to jump in and help. But otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye.